Much more track and field coverage coming up later in tonight's show, but now we turn our attention to softball. Division Four state tournament gets underway with all four teams making their first appearance in the Final Four. Mr. Wildcats meet up with Bainbridge Paint Valley out of Ross County. Wildcats have been using the big inning as of late with a seven-run and a six-run inning in the regional tournament to make it to Akron. Let's head inside beautiful Firestone Stadium. Minster taking the field. Down one nothing, top of the third, runner on first for the Bearcats. Taylor Wad, deep drive to left field, falls in. Lacey Stanforth scores. Paint Valley up two to nothing. Go to the bottom of the sixth. Minster down three nothing. Marissa Conrad unloads, clears the fences, a solo home run to put the Wildcats on the board. Go to the bottom of the seventh, two outs. Minster down three one. Kayla Richard keeps hope alive. Singles into left field. When the throw gets away from the infielder, she alertly moves up to second. So she's in scoring position. Next batter, Rachel Heckman. Slow roller to second. Heckman beats it out. Richard running all the way. Comes in to score. Mincer down by one. Next batter, Conrad. Another deep drive. This one to right center. Finds the grass. Heckman scores from first. We are tied at three on the triple. We go to extra innings. Bot top of the tenth. Still a 3-3 three, three game. Bearcats with two on and two out, but Richard gets the strikeout. 10 Ks on the game. Go to the 10th now. Conrad leading things off. Smokes one to left. Off the glove. It's ruled a double. So Minster with the winning run in scoring position. No outs. After a strikeout and a sacrifice bunt, Conrad on a third with two outs for Reagan Hahn. Grounder to short. Shortstop comes home with it. Conrad is safe. Minster wins 4-3 in 10 innings. Down two, down to their last out. Minster rallies and gets the victory in extra innings. Just one more unbelievable ending for this Minster Wildcat roller coaster ride. Honestly, I was on the fence at that time, <laughs> if I'm going to be honest with you. Did I know we could? Sure. I mean, I, I kind of felt once, yeah, once we got that first runner on, yeah, it was going to happen then. If she wouldn't have gone on, maybe we probably have a different outcome. But yeah. Honestly, it was my dad. He kept telling me that this might be your last at bat as a senior at Minster High School, and I just was like, okay, I'm going to kick it into high gear, and then <laughs> I just gave it all I got on those last three at bats. So, and it worked out good for us. So. Well, I just had confidence confidence in my teammates that they'd make plays. I knew early on that we were struggling, but I knew that. As we got on and the nurse came out or got out, then we'd be fine. And I just needed to hit my spots and uh, have my or teammates' backs. I honestly had no idea what was happening. I was just trying to run as fast as I could. Yeah, surprised. I had no idea what happened. I thought she, I thought she was going to throw first, but then I crossed home plate and I thought I saw something going coming to home plate and I didn't know what happened they all just came running at me so <laughs> Kathy was like do you know what's happening I said no and she's like we won so <laughs>